now this is the map, right? This is the one I'm thinking of. Roy toward heads towards. Roy heads towards heads the, the ruins in Sakai, yeah. hoping to secure a legendary weapon. However, the remnants of the jute wait for Roy within. This is the map. This is the map. This is the map. It's the Lin Paralog, that's right. So when you do Lin's Paralog yep. in uh, Engage, you do this map. All right, now this is the map. This is Wyvern Central. Um, no, no, not that, no, not that the map. This oh. is the, the map. Okay. Okay, what, so let's, let's pay attention to where our units are, okay? Well, for, actually, you can kind of see on the map, right? This is the map of Sake. So you see what's going on here, right? Let's look at this. We, oh we, my we god. Even have, we even have the map going. We already have the cursor. So we got four units down here, okay? Yeah. Six of them up here. One of them are forced to be Roy. Okay. We got four up here. Like right in the corner. Okay. Now, With a we got a bridge, bridge here and a bridge here, uh -huh. which lead to across, so nowhere. So we want to go down here, right? Right. So there's a bridge here that between all the islands, which is fine, except this one. To get to that one is only one way. Right. Right. Or you can fly over whatever, whatever. Well. You can go here, which takes you around. You can, well, you would have to go a really long way a around. A long way around. So these troopers probably going to have to come this way. Mm -hmm. These guys probably going to have to come this way. Right. And then these guys, it's awful design so, map. Wow. And there's this, this these is, down this here, too. This is where your Pegasi would have... Flyers, yeah. But we gotta remember it's okay, and that means there's a lot of nomads, so that's also a problem. Now, yes. here's the thing. I think in the Lin Paralog, and I noticed it, I think there's a bridge here in the Lin Paralog. So they added a bridge, if they're I'm not like, mistaken. They're like, no, everyone hated this. I could be wrong, but I remember commenting on it. I think they did add a bridge up here to help you, you know, get to that central island. To get people to not be like, are you... Flipping yeah, are me. you crazy? Yeah, are you mad? You nuts. So what do we got? Like, what are you mad? all the enemies are basically nomads except for a number of wyverns on the outside. Yeah, so they did add a map or uh, a um, a bridge. I thought so, and a couple burn wyverns, which is whatever. They're just here to annoy things, but not in this map, right? Ah. So here is the thing. Now let's look at the. Yeah, do that again. What the noise? Yeah. Oh. What have you done? I saved it's fine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I like I like the map noise too. Do it again. Right? Right? Okay, so like I was trying to hopefully say. Um oh I can't see it here, okay, so that's fine. So now comes the fun bit. Alright? So you see this. There are six thrones, or well, pardon me, six bosses, basically. There's this guy, Thoril, over here. There's Moral. There's, you know, all named oh, there Juke are, Clan oh, there's six? folks. There's six of them. There's six tuplets is what, what it is. So there's six tuplets. ruin bits, as they call them, ruin bits, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah? The objective is to seize. All six. Wrong. Is there one in particular? One. And you have to guess which one. You have to seize one of them. One of them is the real one. All the other five are fake. The, the, what I just said. Yes. Now, when you go for the fake, when they go, ha ha, we caught them, ambush. And, and you get circled by units, by by a bunch of nomads. And, and you don't know which one is the correct one because it's random every time you load the map. I was gonna say, so have you done the cheat seat doodle and looked at the worst maps, blah, 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 and done the thing? Yes. This one was in Mecca's video. I No, I know, but what my question was going to be, essentially, are you gonna be like, aha, but I know, and I'll be like, okay, he cheated. Nope. But in this case, you cannot it's know. It's literally every time you load the map, it's a different throne every time. And so, is it... Is it... Like totally guesswork every time or is there something that can help you determine which one is the right one no the win condition is finding mulligan right the bow we got to find the bow right now i was like just look at the guy it's that basically has like, like oh, it's defeat a guy <laughs> it's like defeat a guy oh look we found mulligan or defeat a guy digging 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 ah oh, get him boys could be five times could be on the first 
screen. And the fact that you can Ow. think that, you know, you can go over here on this leftmost one, but guess what? You can't move Roy because he starts up here. Right. And there's no bridge to take you to the center. Quick, a flyer! Fly him over! I could, Warp. yeah, especially with Milady because she has a Delphi shield, so the bows can't touch her. Well, they can. They now just you, won't be you, effective. You can save Scummit. Which, for prosperity, we might have to do. For the, we're not doing this map today, mind you. I'm going to pull my hair out. Ooh. Like, this is going to be a one-map stream. Like, the yeah. whole stream is going to be for this map alone. Yeah. So, like... And I'm going to have a lot of water. Maybe yeah. some Advil. Yep. Yeah. So, a lot of alcohol. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. That can make things go... No, not with the Tylenol. No, I was talking about the map. <laughs> I was like, we know what happens. The, the moment we have a single drink, we were like... So the thing is, is like, to no we gotta A, defeat the boss who's sitting on the throne, obviously. But also guess what that is, who it so is, So he's got a 20 avoidance on top of his whatever, and then plus 3 avoidance, defense, and resistance. Nintendo, don't, 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 don't tell me things in that tone. Don't it's you like, get that tone with me so right like, now. So like, if I'm lucky, I can just start map, have Milady carry Roy, and have Milady just tickle this guy until he dies, and then drop Roy, hope he survives for a turn, and then seize. And if I win, great, I win. But if not, well, I get ambushed by, I think it's like, another six guys. I understand. Yeah. Nintendo right now is sounding like he's, he's threatening mm. that not only is it going to be a one-map stream, but the following stream will be as well. Oh, this game is not over yet. No, no, no I'm, no, I'm no, aware, no, no, but no. <laughs> the, the, that tone right there yeah. sounds to me that the following stream will also be a one-map stream. Well, we'll see when we get there. Look we've at that oh, Yes, but we've dealt with Thracia. It's okay. <laughs> I ain't scared no ghost. <laughs> let, let me tell you how this yeah. sounded to me. So we were talking about this blah, shenanigans. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Go. No, I'm, I'm, that's us conversing. Blah, blah, blah. And oh, then, okay. It was like... No, 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 no. No, you go ahead. And afterwards comes chapter 21. Are you ready? <laughs> no. That's what I heard. In my brain, that's how I read that. And I'm like, you just... You don't... That to me is the equivalent of Yoshi's like ha ha ha. Bum, 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 bum. What? It's like I just don't know what units is, are in. Is that? Is that a paralog thing? Like an engaged thing, or is might, that? I think is that a, a, it might be a similar design to S seven F seven map. That was gonna be my other guess, but I was wondering if it was like. Is it that stupid Oh, the Roy circle? Par... Oh, yeah, that's right. True. Yeah, Roy's Paralog is the next map. Oh! Ew. Which wasn't that bad in Again, that's Engage. Again, that's Engage. Let's not, yeah, let's not go no, there. It, no, it's going to be... It's not it's that gonna, bad. No, it's going to be saucy. Another, it's going to be saucy. Another thing Rob should never say. Chad, do we want to go for it? Do we want to just go for, like, just try it to see if it's the top right one next to Roy? You want, we don't want to try once? We can yeah, try okay, once. Yeah, okay, let's do that. And we once we once. die, if we, if we do and when. Yeah. Time for me to go scour the world for Blueberry Donut. Are you ready? Are you? Are you ready? Are you ready? The Tempest Bow, Mulligear. Like, I don't know what they were thinking with this map. Like, we're gonna give you six thrones, and one of them is the real one. Fun. And if it's not, well, too bad. Reinforcements are spawning. Good. Like, that's ah, such crap. Trinity Army has arrived. They wish to take this place as well, do they? We will not let them have it. Tell the brothers that we defend to the death. We will avenge our dead comrades. Yes, sir. Either all brothers or six sepulets. Legendary weapon lies here? Hey, and what do you know about this place? Just that the legendary Hannon's weapon, Mulligear, the Tempest Bow, is here. Hannon? She and St. Elamine were the only two women among the eight legends. So it is said. Be on your guard. The Jude are out for blood. They want vengeance. Yes, we have to be careful. Let's move. Okay, so what we do... Ah, this song. Okay. St. Elamine was... Sakaian? No, female. <laughs> but okay, but what did it say? Like, were the only females what? Hanan yeah. and Elamine were the only females of the eight legends. 
Oh, the answer. Never, never. <laughs> See, you so Cam. Well, because I don't know why I just I wasn't thinking legends in general. I was like thinking their troops, their force of can. So mm, that makes all the sense now. All right, Guinevere. There's unfortunately no gra like. There's that one too, right? Like so those guys don't. Is it just me or do those horses look like rubber duckies? They look like rubber duckies, sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are they yellow? There's the brown ones, and then there's the yellow ones. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I see them. I Rubber see... duckies! They like beeps. Rubber duckies! <laughs> <laughs> they look like marshmallow beeps. Also, terrible name for a candy. Break a bunch of walls and defeating a single boss. Tick. The Elia Gaiden chapter involves breaking a bunch of walls and defeating a single boss. Named Tick. Wow. They so, can't, so what do you do? Them. You just get like tweezers and pick him off? Yeah, that's right. And meanwhile, here they're like, you're infested with lights. Good luck. Find the one that's laying eggs. Are Enjoy. They all look the same. Doesn't kill, but Oreo kill? No. No. Wouldn't barbecue be really nice here? Just murder everything. So what's the play? Do I start working on the boss, or do I go for the guys? Are you gonna let's take, take out, let's take out the spook. The, do you the, have Nime the, with you? No, I don't, I don't need her. Let's take out well, the. Let's um, just say maybe like build him down to one, and then make yeah, that, yeah, one of your do the. Yeah, pop. that's if hell hits, or hell. I guess it is hell. But Again, it's a cold this was eclipse. This was the. Let's see what happens. Yeah, Attempt, guys. so that would have been an interesting time to try it. Yeah, I mean, if it were to work, but... Spoon! Like, we'll just throw Nime right here, and then... Find, mind that guy. Because we still gotta keep a little eye out for that, but fine. We'll them come. Then down here... No, where's the other reinforcements? Right here. So we'll have... A gun can almost get to those Wivermans. Honestly, just throw, like, Deke right here. Then... Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sneeze, sneeze threatening. A I was sneeze like, sneeze inbound. No, because you know what? It's one of those things where, like, have you ever felt one of those things that, like, it tickles your nose and it it feels like the beginnings of a sneeze, but you know for a fact that it will never be one? Absolutely. And it just hurts. It's kind of like yep. the, 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 the soda fizzies. One of the many reasons why I'm not too fond of soda fizzies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know those fizzies. Yeah. One of the many reasons why I'm not generally too keen on drinking carbonated beverages, beer being one of the exceptions. Like it, I don't find that it does the same. But oh my god, it's like my my grandparents especially were big fans of Coca Cola. So grow. I was like, what does that have to do with Coca-Cola? Can't touch my lady. Yeah, I know, but I was talking about Coca-Cola. You started singing, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Carry on. Um, so, like, in my house, that was not a common thing. We Like, my mom was not huge on, on having anything, like, soda-related, like, junk food type of thing. Um, even, like, soda water it just wasn't, it wasn't a thing in my house. But with my grandparents, like whenever we were usually with them on the weekends, and when we ate out at a restaurant, often they would have <laughs> like Coca Cola. And I couldn't understand how people drank anything like pop religiously, yeah. Yeah. regularly. Like, you know, you'd sit at home and have a big glass of Coca Cola with dinner, and then maybe another one. Yeah. I just keep having it. Just, yeah, just I, 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 later. I couldn't because when you go to a party, right? A kid's party, you have like my thing was Sprite, Sprite Seven Up, yep. Squirt, Ginger Ale. Ginger Ale, yeah. Squirt. <laughs> yeah, we. It was yeah. pretty common back then. Yeah, but, I remember Squirt. But the um, Ginger Ale actually wasn't that common back home. But you know, even like uh, Phantom or yeah, Miranda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sorry. Mer or how you call you the comedian that was it like they had an orange one and a mango one pretty mm -hmm. good but again that was a treat that you got at a party and it was exciting and i would like drink my one glass and i would feel the fizzies coming and i'm like oh that really sucks but you just kind of push through because it tasted delicious oh that's good um 
and that was it. Ooh. But I couldn't wrap my head around people that would drink it literally multiple glasses every day. And they didn't seem to be bothered by the fizzies like I was. Like, I'd sit there and I was like, oh, my nose, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're just like, chill. Nothing. Feels like nothing. Ow. I don't know. Well, we're gonna try and deal with this guy first, because at least it opens up a throne. Right. He has a cool name, though. Bracool. Bracool. Hungry. I love how he looks like this here, but in the other ways, he looks like. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> fine. He looks like a weird lobster. <laughs> Alright. Lobster guy? <laughs> yeah, look look at his little spray when you, when you select him. Yeah, I saw. He looks like a... Parasect. Yeah, it, a little bit. The spider right? does look like a parasite. Right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Laughs at me, and I'm like, it is kind of like crabby lobster -y. The lobster. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at you the now. The lobster. <laughs> the lobster. Damn those lobsters. <laughs> what? What happened to you? It's the lobster. <laughs> God dang those lobsters. That's what you get from making fun of me. I'm gonna look <laughs> hey, Vatir, how you doing? Hey, Vatir. Did you finish Engage? How was it? Did you love it? <laughs> Did you also marry the train? The train? It wasn't marriage. It was a sign of eternal friendship. Okay, did you also give a promise ring to Citrine? Ray is pretty epic. Expo Dojo, welcome to the crew. I know it's highlighted as first time chat, but I thought it was like flagged as um like flagged oh, or whatever. Okay. Flag message, and I yeah. was like, oh yay, it knows that that's a word we don't use here. <laughs> <laughs> oh Raya, the word <laughs> Raya's banned. Or just bug me potato. Yeah, we'll get a little a little miniature stretch and we're actually gonna plan on ending very, very soon, but um And also welcome. Yeah. Good to see you. Welcome this in Expo Dojo. Hi Rob. Hi Mitsia. Hi Mitsia. Hello. 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 Like that one teacher walks in. Hello. 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 Sue Gaming, come on. Two chapters Please. more or so. Oh, you still haven't finished yet, Vats? Your... Oh, yeah, you're playing on Madden. I guess it does take a bit more time. Than... Oh, look this little. It's just a bit more time. Sheetsy sod over here. They saw run. Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, while, while, you, while you trek through this, I will stretch because yeah. this chair sucks for me. Mm -hmm. I will do my stretches. Climb. <laughs> yes. Uh, lunch. 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 Oh, lunch is always good. <laughs> lunch, good time of day. Well, I was thinking a meal rather than oh. just the time of day, but. They just haven't had enough. Yeah, I mean, True. I totally, I totally feel that. True. That's the reason I haven't even started it. I'm going down. Don't headbutt the table. I, why are you scratches from the table? What'd you do? I just got a cramp on my leg. Oh. It's a broken human. <laughs> I'm trying to catch myself from falling over. I gave myself a cramp. It's yeah, fine. If you Stretch it out. If you actually don't pay attention like this, there's some dudes don't showing up. They, they out here. They here. Guess that by the, um, the sheer volume of people already on. Well, no, I know, but like I just never actually realized like there, it's actually a relatively small map, all things considered. And like, that's the problem. Like when I saw the map, I'm like, you, you have a lot of units, a lot of enemy units. Yeah. On a small map that you have difficulty tra like traversing yeah. to begin with. So it's like running away isn't even a, that realistic yeah. of a choice. Yeah. Where are you gonna go? Yeah. Wherever you go, they're gonna get there faster because guess what? Mm -hmm. They're on a horse mm -hmm. or they fly. Yeah. And you're like, eh. you have an old woman with you for freaking crying out loud. At least she runs fast, but not far. Just trying. Yeah, we have a zero <laughs> hit chance on these bosses. Like, <laughs> I know that the speed is about attack, but this map does stink, or uh, that's here. But I'm we're coming in here knowing it stinks. Yeah. I know that um, speed is related to to attack, but I'm just picturing me may not running oh. far, yeah. but running fast, and just when they... <laughs> She's really fast in short distances. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, you know when people use the... Um, I don't know if they did it at your high school, but I remember people doing it at school when I was younger. Cameron actually used to do it a lot. He'd like squat down and like on his tippy toes and go J -j 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 -j, and like. Ew. <laughs> you never saw him do that. No. I think it was him. It was weird, but it was it was funny because you just need like I, I don't even know if I can explain it, but it was just really fast. Like picture Nime doing that, which is like. Decided to run around like a goblin. <laughs> it was more like those wind up toys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So imagine Nime, she doesn't run far, but she's just like moving her little feetsy so fast. It's like that line from Lord of the Rings where where, they, where the three hunters, they start running. And Gimli is like, We dwarves are natural sprinters, very dangerous over short distances. <laughs> it's like, because they have such little, it's like, but we sprint real fast. They're not going to go very far anyway. Oh, that's a good squat. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, crit, please. Thank you. If we get lucky, this could end. If. Ow. If. Like, I think that you should do just it. leave ifs Actually, out yeah, of... do do that. Yeah, do do that. With your rocking horse friend and the other rubber ducky duck... horses. The rubber ducky horse. Yes. Yep. Alright, just hit, well. He's like... Just hit twice? Unless. Hang on. Cool animation, skip it. Alright, one boss down. Do we get lucky? Do is not here. No, do's not here, no, you're right. Do we get lucky? What the heck he is? Uh lady's carrying him. Ah. Yeah. So are you just gonna try to go for that one, or are you gonna drop it? I'm gonna, the one well, I'm gonna dump Roy in this kind of vicinity. In the vicinity, and then hope for the best. And I'm also taking out whatever I can. Unless as well. our don't. I'm just gonna start banning those words, unless specific <laughs> phrases as well. I'm, I'm thinning the horde while I'm here, cause I don't think anything spawns on I'm map. Thinning the herd. In this case, it's a horde. I suppose you're right. Yep. And Deke does a Deke thing, so it's okay. Yes. So, realistically, we are actually, as it turns out, playing this map normally. And hoping. Hold it up over here until the end of the night. Gotta be strong, gotta be fast, and he's gotta be fresh from the fight. Actually, it's probably gonna be wherever he's showing up, but... Hero! Wait, a grunt can walk on water, she can fly. Yeah, a grunt can walk on water, totally forgot about that. Walk! Sing! Oh well, it's fine. Actually, like, hang on. Sue, pick up Elfin, and then also walk on water. Look at water walkers, hello. I can fly. fly. I can well, she keep on fly. fighting till I die. Don't say that. <laughs> I can keep on fighting till I die. <laughs> well, I die. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> and uh, now I can no longer. I, that I cannot do anymore. Mm hmm. Yay! Kill! Ugh. <laughs> That's a big axe if it's the size of the damn horse. The fact that he just yeets it from a chain and then yeah, he's like, Kratos. Order, 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 order. And the fact that they had mechanisms to like, wind it's it back Kratos. up. It's Kratos! Like, axe oh. smashing. It's Kratos, it's fine. <laughs> now, Nime, you have very questionable defense and HP. I mean, but, if you saw oh Lord God. of the Rings, I'm pretty sure you'd remember seeing horses walking on water with people on them. I still think it's so cool. Like, hey, horse, your head, your head's barely out of the water, but trek along with me on your back. Like, mm. They're strong horses. They are strong horses, but still. Can what you imagine just someone being like, I'm gonna put a chair on your back and you're gonna take me places, and if you don't, I'm gonna dig my heels into your sides. <laughs> Sounds like fun, doesn't it? But I'm not a horse. I'm aware. <laughs> I'm not... How much does a horse weigh? Like, over a thousand pounds? I don't measure pounds very good. <laughs> I don't know. Like, horses are muscular. Like, yeah, yeah okay. They are like... muscular. They, but, and that's the other thing, is that some horses just look leaner because... 
if you think about it. Yeah. I know that they're muscular. Oh. Yeah, they're muscles with hooves. You're totally right. It is kind of incredible because when you look at a horse's leg, it's like the thighs or something else. Yes, yeah, also more than enough to kill, especially with a kick. But then the leg is so skinny that it's one of those things that makes you think, how does that work? How does how do those little leggies hold all of that Aminal. thickness? Aminal. And then human on top. Or two. I like yeah. the crit. I like the crit there. The six percent crit for zero damage. <laughs> that was cute. Do it again. Clang. Ding, ding. That Delphi shield's doing good. And also remember that there's other horses that are like more muscular. They're not all of them are the same. Yes. Yes. Great, right? Mm -hmm. So some of them do, like, you look at them and they have thicker legs and, like, they're even, like, hairier and whatnot. So mm -hmm. they look like they're built for hard work. Sure. But the ones that people are often mounting for poor and just, like, generally fast running and such, and it's like, now run really fast. Well, okay. With like, me on your back. No, but sure, but, like, that, you understand, right? Like... War horses, again. like that's something else entirely too. No, I know, and again, I totally get it, but it's just it's an interesting thought. But if that was me, I'm like, would I really be that pleased that someone's like, alright, get on my back and then just like I'll run all this way with you digging your heels into my sides or spanking my bum the whole way. It's spanking like, my, like spanking like, my oh, bum. Like, horse. Spank my bum. <laughs> or whip it. I've never been a fan of whip, to be honest. I think that's not very nice. Or the bit, like. Oh. Don't crit, please. Don't crit, please. Crit. <laughs> but it's also very impressive to see people actually riding wild horses with like, sure. just no saddle or anything. Just... <laughs> and then just like, just pull hair. Stop looking! This, this section is. Oh, fun. A wee bit of a crisis. I mean, we can manage, but yeah. it's 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 a lot for who's over there. I remember the first time I saw that crit animation, and I was like, "It's glitching." <laughs> Where'd he go? Rutger's glitching IRL. What do you mean? Well, it wasn't even Rutger. The first time that we saw yeah. the crit animation, it was I don't even know what game it was. But it was like, <laughs> can we do anything about this guy? Emily's not here either. Emily, no, he's not here. Oh, what a shame. This is actually kind of bad. Nima, if you don't actually know what Nima, what you let's let's do a thing. Nima, you do just get some damage off on a. Can we kill any of them? No. Okay, let's get damage off on somebody then. That will help. Mm. Sure. Eh. That's fine. I mean, I, like, what is your avoidance? Forty-five. Yeah, I don't have them on. It's fine. Anime, dark magic takes a long time with the animations anyway. They look cool, but. Long, long animations. So does she also do the... Yeah. And then rescue. There, that's fine. The Mr. T. Woo. Mr. T. Woo, -woo. Yep, that's the one. What's your story? Silence. Yeah, that's fine. So there's no story. He's quiet. You just want to tell me one, yeah. Alright. What's your story? I am just quiet. My lady. I'm pretty sure Wyvern spawn eventually too, but I don't know where. Pretty sure on the outside. Like on the well, outside that's the room. other thing that was, I, where I was wondering why not go maybe the other side in case you wanted to go up or down with Roy. Yeah, no, I was thinking about that too. Um, it's just because I have these boobers over here as well. Yeah, but they're not below the I know. Okay, well, I think we can safely drop elf from that and that. I think he says. Yeah. And then this side is fine. I almost oh, so send. Sorry. I almost might send Percival that way. No, this low sea mode. Where? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Expo just... Those are those are those are good emotes. I thought they were actually like happy faces, like really large happy faces. I, I can see. Fine. 
What did that girl eat? Not a single Draco shield, Vatior, <clears throat> in case you're wondering. There's her stats. Oh, she's capped on resistance with that last level. Nah. Ta-da! Yay. Um, she's a princess. She's not allowed to take damage. That's, that's, that's why. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that section of the map is a wee bit scary. Um, because there, it's only four units over there, and there's, like, clearly more than four enemies. So it's, uh, it's a little bit of a, uh, a prolonged fight yeah. over there. Uh, dear, you actually miss Brax freaking out about, uh, Guinevere's defense. We like, Sages aren't supposed to have more than ten! <laughs> in this game, it's like, well, she's a cheat unit, as Arkold kindly po uh, pointed out. Why, why would you have normal stats on a cheat unit? Well, I mean, like, her bases were relatively still low. But again, her growth. Yeah, but the growths aren't that high. No, but still, like, the potential was there. Sure, I mean, well, her, def her defense growth is 20, her HP growth is 30. <laughs> my growths always seem to be decent. But my crit chances are just zero all the time. <laughs> no, no, your crit chances are there, it's just you always hit on... On the second hit, yeah, I have FCM, basically, yeah. I have the F U C C. No, I was I was not I was not thinking about the second hit, but it's like it, you have crit chance. Yeah. It's just you always seem to hit on the opposite side of that. Mm. It's like if you have sixty, you'll hit you'll you'll get the forty. Yeah. What? Your hit percent, their like hit chance is sixty percent you'll end up getting the 40, which is the not. Yes. M math hurt my head. <laughs> if your hit hands is 99, yep. you'll al always end up hitting that 1% that isn't. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, it'll show that there's a hit chance, but again, it's just a chance. You just happen to be unlucky that day. As always. You have sixty percent chance, but about to bring a normal die, and you hold a loaded die instead. Oh, I see. Yeah. Gotcha. Like five, yes. Is anyone low HP here? That guy is. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Not ideal. I, I would like to minimize damage to here, but maybe. whatever. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, um, oh, rest Douglas is mind. carrying Nime. That's what he missed. He there's was all balanced. Yeah, there's so an he, old lady on his shoulders, yeah. Yeah, so when he went to throw it, it just kind of like went sideways. Alright. Moment of truth. Do I wait one more turn just in case we have. So we can have at least Milady able to fight reinforcements? Actually, mm, I think we do, because that way, in case this is the wrong one and all the nomads spawn, Milady will just pick up Elfin. I thought the whole point was to see if we got it on the first try, and if not, we'll try it another. Yeah, time. but I can do it the <clears throat> second one or save state. Okay, you know what? Just my dark hold. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it is the right one. Who's to know? <laughs> Watch, you want to see I what happens if it's wrong? I think you may have just eaten a floof milk. I ate a floof? <laughs> I thought it was on your mouth and I'm like, where'd it go? Fire Emblem 6, first time players. They're like, wow, C's. <laughs> Get them, boys! Wrong the trap! The trap! How do you, how do you load a state? He saves states and doesn't know how to use it. I don't know how to load them, though. No. I have no <laughs> idea. I have no clue how to load them. No clue? What's well, a shortcut for it so I know for the future? Oh, just F3. Okay, so shift F3 is to save and then just press the thing to load. Gotcha. Alright, Guinevere, you want to start working on this guy, please? Pew. Oh, you're not bottom right. Got it. Is it going to be this one, perhaps? And this map's not that bad. I mean, the reinforcements kind of suck. This but map's dude, not with, that bad. without save states, this map would be That was going to be my point, and I'm like, see, you again. You have to look at it 
for how it's meant to be played. Yeah, absolutely. So you can be like, hey, this map isn't so bad when you have cheat ways. Oh, this map's garbage without it. Like, there's just no way. We're, for prosperity's sake of, like, the entire stream and everyone's sanity, no, nah, it's, it's garbage. Like, <laughs> this map sucks. I think everyone knows it sucks. And it's like, we'll give you a pass for this. Now, 24x in Thracia was shit. But I didn't save state, nor did we only game over zero times. I also had Yoshi keep me so honest. Also, <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, mm. kind of, yeah. You should be I like, I'm listen, disappointed in you, but you can't do that. We've said it before. I don't like using save states. We've, we've, we've said this before. We know this. Just because you've said it doesn't mean it's true. It is true. I don't, I don't like it save states. It was true. Sacrifices have to be made. So here's here's my argument. Yeah, okay. Are you gonna disagree though? Yes, but what? but here <laughs> Why? So again, let me get there. Yeah. You can say you don't like using safe states. Mm -hmm. But unless you sit there and say, Oh, I really think I need to use safe states, I don't like doing it. I hate that I have to do this, and it's literally your last resort. The fact that you use them so willy-nilly nowadays, it's a very different take than what it used to be back then. What do you mean willy-nilly? What are you talking- how often do I save state? I don't know, the last, uh, this entire stream? Wrong. That- that map. So here's my thing. Nowadays, when you get frustrated enough, mm -hmm. which happens relatively easily, just be like, I'm safe stating, I don't even care, blah blah blah! <laughs> like, <laughs> Before, you were a lot more resistant to it, and you'd be like, oh, and it would take really a lot for you to be like, okay, I'm doing it. Like, I really can't do it. We've been at this for hours. It has to be done. Uh -huh. Now it happens in a much, like, smaller, there's a, there's a lower threshold for what you tolerate before you save state. So my, that's where I'm taking it as, it used to be true. Mm -hmm. You might still... Feel that it's true, but mm. it does. It isn't necessarily. So it's it still stands that you don't lie, mm -hmm. because if you truly believe something, then it's not really a lie, because it's something you believe to be true. Mm -hmm. So while Rob doesn't lie, it doesn't mean that you safe stating you you not liking safe states is true. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't don't hurt yourself. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool conference. <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. Our cool, that's it. Or Celica. Sacrifices must be made. Again, but that's different. Are you going to disagree with the use of safe states for prosperity? In this case? Yes. Knowing the context and situation of this map and the one that no. we struggled on last time. No, and again, my point for that would be is like this. Like, I would probably try, and if. There's a number of things that I would do. In this case, because it was one of those things where you're like, let's just see if we get it on the first try. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting too much stock in it. It's almost like a throwaway in a way. And this map is ridiculous. Mm. Ah! <laughs> If it was a situation where, like, I would probably just try. I might even do what Batir said and just restart until the easiest to reach is the right one. Oh, yeah, like, if you're going to do that to play without save states, then yeah, like, I would do that too, believe me. Because that, right. that makes sense. I totally understand why you would do it here. My point it's gonna was... going to be this one. <laughs> but, but my point was not about whether or not I agree that save states or kind of like genealogy type save mm -hmm. states save for battle turn. saves um would be the right fit for this like that's what the game should have already had is mm -hmm. my point but my comment was just regarding your i don't like save states i'm like well <laughs> what what man nothing I'm, I'm not judging you i'm just saying finally strength rocker good job it just isn't. Oh, Bartray. 
as factual as it used to be was my only point. It is factual. I still disagree. I respectfully disagree, and I respect your opinion that it isn't. However, I am the fact checker, and what I say goes. <laughs> but it's, no, but it's not. You're not telling me facts. You're it just is a fact. No, it's not facts. It is a fact. It isn't. It is. It is. There is factual evidence that you are far less resistant to using them. In fact, sometimes you do so with a smile. <laughs> which someone, of course because it's funny which someone who does not like using them would not for integrity and now i'm sure integrity on says. on for, the, for all that stands for the salt committee branding of oh geez haha lol salty moment compilation 2019 right uh -huh. it's like you know of course, the funny moments are going to end up, like, happening, but, like... Yeah. We we also got to keep in mind that, like... Is this a good idea? Sure. That you like safe states. That, like, I don't like safe <laughs> states. I don't... I didn't like it in genealogy, either. Where, like, you're forced to save... Well, you're not forced. You can just say no. I was going to say you that's say definitely no, not but, true. But it is there. Yeah. As... And it's recommended because genealogy is a massive game. Mm -hmm. This game is bullshit. You're going to tell me that this is... Well, we don't no, have to say. No, and again... It is bullshit, but it's a matter of you were talking about integrity. If, you were, if it was a matter of integrity, as in like sticking to playing the game as it was intended intended to be played, this game was not int intended to be played with safe states. Uh huh. Therefore, using safe states is cheating. Yes. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, I know. The best Fire Emblem players in the world out there probably use save states. I am not arguing that it, it is convenient and helpful, mm -hmm. especially with older maps mm. that, in retrospect, probably should have been designed differently. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Again, I am not arguing that. Here is your sleep stuff. Sorry. Yeah. You know what? Mm, I don't want to waste brave ones. So again, my point had nothing to do with whether or not this map warrants the use of safe states. Uh -huh. My point was to the statement of I don't like using safe states. Which, as Arco put, it's essentially, it's you being Salika saying, I abhor violence while murdering Everything... a dude with Ragnarok. Yeah, well, Ragnarok's something you gotta do sometimes. It's like safe stating. Exactly. Again, it's not about the use of Ragnarok or not. It's about the common that comes before it being, I abhor violence. I hate violence. I shall murder you. <laughs> you will die now. <laughs> yeah, just explosion. And not yeah. even just like, I abhor violence, so here, have some poison. It's no, like, nuclear I will explode missile. Yeah. you. Yeah, exactly. Into a million pieces where no medicine can save you. Yeah. <laughs> no antidote for you. It's like, there's no stopping you. You're like, Ragnarok. It's like, no, no, stop. Don't. Wait. You don't need to be do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's the wrong guy. Oh shoot, let me just give him the antidote real quick. Oh crap, let me go pick up his pieces and glue them back together. Oops. <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Turns out you were innocent. My bad. <laughs> Guys, we gotta call back Deke. We need to. <laughs> that, see, that would be a moment when you'd be like, do we have a safe state? Anybody? Can we go back? Guys, we fired Deke again. Divine Poles, anyone? Exactly! <laughs> exactly! But that game we're, has it. We're modernizing FE6 is what we're doing. Once again, I am not against your use of it. <sighs> Good job, Roy. I was simply fact-checking you on the I don't like to use it. But I don't! Straight for Roy! Good job! I thought I used a Draco shield. What happened to that? Oh, I did. Fact. It's not facts, you're just stating... Facts! You're not. Facts. No. Facts! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, the fact checker don't crit, is there to tell you when your statement, when your when your fact is incorrect. But I'm correct. Though. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> wow, gee, this map sure is easy with no thousands of reinforcements surprising two, me at random houses. Hmm. Two plus two is five. It isn't, Rob. Yes, it is, but it isn't. But I'm right, but it just isn't. No, but I understand. But hear me out. But this is why it's fine. In this case, <laughs> if you if you do 2 plus 2, it's 
four, but if I already had one, then I have five. So therefore, two plus two is five. No, that's not how that works. Where that are you getting this two... one from? I had it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but then that's not two plus two. That would be two plus two plus one. No, but see, I, I only added two, and then I added two more, so therefore it was two plus two. <laughs> but <laughs> Rob, that's just not how it works. Uh, but it is. <laughs> no, it just isn't. <laughs> I'm just trying to rationalize every possible equation for anything. <laughs> Where did the one come from? It was in my pocket. I had you it. You couldn't see it. So if you can't see it, technically it's, it doesn't count. So then therefore it shouldn't be counted as part of the total. But I still have it. It's on my person and I am with the other apple. That apples. wasn't in the equation that you started with, but it doesn't matter. I have it anyway. Uh, see, let, let me riddle you this one. Yes. So I, ha I have two apples. Yes. So two. Uh -huh. And I get two apples. Mm. I had two. Yep. Five. How does that work? <laughs> well, I'm also there, so therefore there's five. Okay, but that's five things. We were talking about apples. Ah, uh, but five. Because I five can't, are you an apple? I I had the apple, so therefore one, two, and three. Plus then the other two, so therefore five. Yep. Rob, you're not an apple, but five. But there's five of them. Five of them apples? I How do you like them apples? How do you like them? <laughs> Guess what? I have them. You didn't think you could get them? Guess what? I got them. It's just, it's just how it is. It's just how things are and how they gotta be sometimes. It still doesn't make it, it factual. It does make it factual. It does not. It does. It's 100%. No. Yeah. No. Just because you <laughs> wish it to be <laughs> doesn't mean you can will it to be so. If I wish hard enough, it must be true. Oh my god, you're an orc. I'm a 40k orc. Warhammer 40k orc. For those who don't know, in Warhammer 40k universe, uh, the orcs, they are a race of relatively Dumb. simple people. That they believe that, you know, they, they like to fight and they like to and they like to do a bunch of stuffs and they like and they and they do a bunch of things. And the orcs, if the way that they function is that if, if enough orcs believe in a thing, then it must be true, right? Everything goes word of mouth. It can start off with one orc, one singular orc across billions of them. Say, and you're going to be orc number two, I'll be orc number one, okay? Okay. It's like, it's like, hey, orc, did you see the, the red vehicle over there, that red truck? And that's what they call their vehicles. Everything is a truck to the orcs. T-R-U-K-K, -K. everything's a truck. It could, it could be modeled in a million different ways. It's a truck. It can it, be a Mustang and it's a truck. It's a truck. Did you see that truck, the red one? Uh, uh, um, uh, Orcus over there, he, he he painted it red. Do you see how much faster it went than the other one? Yes. And then, right, so now that orc will be like, yeah, yeah, that one definitely went faster. And then some other hundreds of orcs around them is going to hear that they were just talking about Orcus's truck that's going faster because the dude painted it red. And then other people would be like, oh no, that's just nonsense, whatever, whatever. And then they would go in a race, and then because those two guys believed it, and like whoever else might believe it, they could do like a race or something. And then- If let's say there's 10 orcs there, and six of them believe, and the other ones are just are like, I don't know, but then six of them, so like more of them believed it, all of a sudden it does go faster, and then everybody believes, and they're like, it does go faster, and therefore it is. That's that's how the orcs function, is that, don't crit please, is that if enough orcs believe in a thing, it becomes true. Believe. Exactly. If you believe hard enough, it becomes true. So therefore, in, and in, in Rob's way. in orc lore, it, be, it, it is now fact that... If not, if you paint a red vehicle or you paint a vehicle red to an orc, in the rule book, they are able to move more on the on the on the board on the on the game board because That's their it's mechanic. because it's you gave them the red paint special rule and therefore guess what now it can now it's, it moves faster because it's painted red and it becomes true. That's how the orcs gods were born because some guy just started a myth. Or something, so they believed. Or they just believed it. It's kind of like, you Some know... Some guy was like, Hey, did you hear about that god named Gork? 
and they're like, no. Or like, yeah, there's a god named Gork. And they go, huh? And then, yeah, but I also heard there's like a Mork. And Gork and Mork, oh, who are those guys? And they're like, whatever, right? And then enough orcs started believing in it. Guess what? Gork and Mork became real orc deities that are living. They are like there. Physical beings. They are there. That they can just call upon the powers of Gork or Mork. Or Mork or Gork. There's a reason behind that. Because, because so many orcs believe that Gork or Mork are real. That, guess what? And Mork. Gork or Mork. Therefore, and. They, they exist. They uh, both exist. Because enough believe it exists. It's like, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, I heard this about this god or whatever, and then someone just walked in with a broken telephone. Broken telephone, right? So you end up with um, <clears throat> someone just got the name wrong, and all of a sudden they kept spreading the word, and everybody started believing in that one, and they encountered the other people that believed in, in the, the one that started it all. And now there's like, well, no, but I heard it was this one, but no, but it's this one, and so all of a sudden, boom. That's how they work, and therefore that's how Rob also be Rob is work. No, because that's... two plus two is five. No, it isn't. Every but yes, but okay. Yeah, but if enough people enough. believe that two plus two equals five, then so, there's got to be some error behind it, right? So I suppose that you need to convince people that two plus two is five. What's that? They create. Top. What's that? I'm about to find out what that is. Well, we're on four out of we're on, we're on four out of six. I guess we're playing the map. Oh, right? in contemporary paranormal discourse, a tulpa or tulpa, I don't know what it is. is a being that begins in the imagination but acquires a tangible reality and senti sentience. Yeah, I suppose so. Sure. Tulpas are created either through a deliberate act of individual Yay! will or unintentional form, unintentionally from the thoughts of numerous people. Yeah, that's that's, that's literally what it is. Sure. We did it! It was on number four! I'm scared, I don't want to read about it was, it was the top. Be... It was the top left one. Or, nice. or, or, well, it was the fourth one that we picked, so second from the left. Yay, we cheated! Badly we cheated. We cheated really bad. <laughs> you know what, there weren't that many reinforcements, admittedly speaking, but, you know, right. it's it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll, uh... Well, see, the... That was a victory... Hang on a second. You say, there wasn't... Lefter. Oh, thank you, Nintendo. There wasn't that many reinforcements, you say, but we have no idea what would have happened if we tried to fight them and what else would have spawned. I think it was only the one wave, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I think it's not in your book now. Well... I'm just saying, because if you say I think, I'm like, that's not necessarily true. But anyway, let's, let's dialogue. That's, that's me right there. No, you, you... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We cheated bad. We are stinky, evil cheaters. I hate it. Going forward, no more save states. And, and, this is the last Sakaian map. Okay. We're, we're out of Sakae. We're going to burn now. This is Mulligir. Looks unremarkable, but I'm sure it hides an incredible power. Lord Roy, Burns troops are fleeing. Good, let them go. Let them go. We must attack. No, don't. We've already won. They don't want to fight us. But, they all have lives and families. There's no need to take that away from them. Got the Mulligir. Yay! Merlinus, I need you to send this letter to Father Yoder in Truria. A letter? May I ask what it says? Uh, I was gonna make a joke. I <laughs> think of one. It has the information I learned from Nime about the dragons. Oh? What did you learn? It would take too long to tell you. I haven't seen the letter yet, so you can look through it if you like. Very well, I think I will. Let's see back to Right. Princess? I hear you have committed to going forward no more safe states. I have committed I have heard you committed treason. Now. I hope you're committed to this no more safe states. <laughs> it, it's just a line of itself. Yes. Yes, the attack on Burn will commence soon. May I ask the rest of the story now? That is why I came to you. Yeah, that's right. You said King Zephiel was an outstanding pupil in everything he did. It sounds like he would have been an ideal heir to the throne. Yes, I have no doubt. But, your, but still, your father never looked kindly at him. In truth, our father began to despise Sethiel precisely because of his talent. That was Why hard. would a father resent his own son's talent? Our father was mediocre. Yeah, he was, was born. Of See? 
Our father was a man of unextraordinary skill and intellect. He was dumb. Dumb as a rock. Zephyl's outstanding talents made her father colder to work. He was envious? He went as far as to tell Zephyl that he would never inherit Burn. Said that instead, the throne would go to my future husband. His own father told him that? What a heartless man! But Zephyl held strong. Someone give me a quote from Roy where he speaks to, like, someone who he has no resonance with. Like, what does he say to Gold Mary? <laughs> he always said he never cared about inheriting his home. But the people of Bern knew, knew of Zephyl's genius and wanted him king. Yeah, that's what it says. Pressured by the public, her father lost his patience again. That's when he decided to kill Zephyl? For like the third time. Our father gave Zephyl a goblet full of a poison mm, drink at a banquet. Here's that. Like, just at a banquet with other people, it's like, here, have some purple stuff. Yeah, of course! How many times has that happened in literally anything? It happened in Emperor's I, I know, but I'm just saying, like, from, from a kingly perspective, it just seems rather unwise, although he was of unextraordinary intellect, obviously. Sure. To be like, let me poison my son in front of everybody because I know that everybody wants him to be king, so I'm gonna kill him in front of everybody, and surely there will be no revolt. Anyway. That was the first and last time Zephyl ever accepted a drink from her father. Wise man. Intellectual. After returning to his room, Zephyl began to fall dreadfully ill. Ten days and nights, Zephyl lingered between death. But Murdoch, Zephyl's teacher and loyal general, saved his life. Yeah, antitoxin. Here we go. The old king no, made no further attempts on his life? No, she says. It's like, at least not to completion. It's like, no, well, I mean, kind of, but he didn't really make it. That's sure. that's still a yes. Genevieve? Guinevere. Yes. You, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Genevieve. I have heard that he schemed to have Murdoch and Zephyl's mother killed. He was scheming to murder everyone connected to Zephyl. Upon learning our father of her father's intentions, Zephyl feigned death. At his funeral service, our father learned over leaned over the coffin to Zephyl's body. In post, I'll put the cipher card of the scene. It was at that moment that Zephyl sprung from the coffin, sword in hand. Bop. I was but a child then, so naturally, I could not understand what was going on. All I knew at the time is that our father died, but Zephyl never smiled. Well, you know, murder will do that to you. Before then, he was stern at times, but always a kind and loving brother. After everything that happened, Princess, I knew that someday I may have to act against him. I see. Zephyl is so far gone. He will never listen to anything I say. Boy, please, you must stop him. Stop him from destroying Burn and from destroying Elite. Such a feat will likely require my blade, my father's sword. Can you still ask such a thing of me? I trust your judgment. Do what you must. I have my word, Princess Guinevere. Genevieve. I swear by the fire emblem that I will stop King Zephyr. 